The impromptu shrine outside a football legend's house continues to grow. It's no surprise to Annette Bush, who gleefully wears the number of her hero. Yeah, he meant a lot to all of us. He was a stellar player. No one could ever compare to him. The emotions for fans are still raw. We're going to be missing him a lot. But the untimely death of retired pro football player Junior Seau is provoking questions. You know, he was so, such a joyful person, you know. What brought him down to this point? So, uh, yeah, those questions will be asked. On Thursday, the San Diego medical examiner confirmed what investigators already believed. The beloved San Diego Chargers linebacker committed suicide, a gunshot wound to the chest. The office says it's awaiting word from Seau's family on whether to turn over his brain to unidentified researchers for study, which now begs the question, did a lifetime of football and hard hits affect Seau's mental health? And it doesn't require a history of recognized concussions. It's just that repeated chronic uh, impact over and over again. Dr. Neil Martin, a co-director at the Brain Injury Center at the University of California, Los Angeles, says former football players, boxers, and hockey players are at risk for a degenerative brain condition called CTE, or chronic traumatic encephalopathy. It begins with depression often, loss of concentration, uh, temper flare-ups, personality changes, and ultimately memory disorders and speech impairment and slowness of movement. And it's a topic that doctors are looking at across the country. Uh, and that rocketing around that goes on in this jelly-like mass inside the uh, skull really tears nerve fibers. And that tearing of nerve fibers is what accumulates over time if you have many of those head injuries. Former Chicago Bears safety Dave Dewerson committed suicide in the same manner. Although in a note he wrote prior to his death, he wanted his brain researched. Dozens of former NFL athletes have filed concussion-related lawsuits against the National Football League. Seau is not known to have been a plaintiff in one of those lawsuits. John Moan, Associated Press, San Diego.